Well, I'm up at Nobles Hospital with me is Vanina and uh, Terry, Terry Groves, of course, everyone knows. Vanina, nice to meet you. Nice this to is meet a very you. exciting day. We are standing in a room, and in fact, where we're actually standing will be full of equipment in just a few minutes' time. Big day. In very, very big day. We've been waiting for this since a long time, I have to say. And um, today, our new MRI, a three Tesla MRI, is coming in. And uh, this is a project that we've been doing together with Harry Bloom Trust. And um, yeah, everything started in December 2018, and here we are now. Terry, you, you got over, what, a million pounds? Yes, uh, a trust, the Henry Bloom Oval Trust, we've donated 1.2 million to buy this fantastic piece of equipment. Uh, Vanina will tell you that probably in the UK, this particular MRI scanner is quite rare. There's probably three or four hospitals, and they're teaching hospitals only in the UK who have such a thing. Do we have anything at the moment that does this, though? Um, so we do have an MRI scanner, yeah. uh, but our MRI scanner is a 1.5 Tesla, which is a good scanner, but this is a 3 Tesla. It's double the size, double the power, and better quality of images, a new piece of equipment, so new technology. Um, we, this equipment, the 3 Tesla, has to work together with the 1.5 because they're two kind of two different types oh. of specification so, so, so that was not being retired we're keeping no that. absolutely not it's mm. it's, uh, it's we're keeping it and it's going to be working and the whole point was actually to double our capacity so we could um, go yeah. we could tackle the big problems of waiting times in MRI which right. has been that's problem, where I'm going because obviously we always hear about waiting times. Yes. This will solve that or make it better on anything? Um, absolutely. Well, um, you've got enough staff to run it. I mean, we have absolutely enough staff. We, before we started the project, and Terry knows, we do, did our due diligence. Mm -hmm. um, the first thing we thought about was sustainability. Mm -hmm. So our project was not only let's buy a uh, piece of equipment and let's put it in, it was let's take care of everything. We took care of the staffing, we took care of the reporting, we took care of the maintenance, we took care of the build work, we took care of everything before even starting. I think um, Henry Bloom would not have given us the money if we, they wouldn't have seen an absolutely it, it, serious commitment yeah, from Vanina's us. Right. It's been a classic situation really with the partnership between the business case which the radiology department put together to start with. They presented that to our treasury. We were in there discussing with the department already at that point our help for this project and the consideration of how it would be resourced, how it would be staffed as Vanina says how it would deliver for the Isle of Man people here and the healthcare sharp end delivery, which is what we like to do as a trust, how all that would come together was all discussed two years ago. This two December, years ago? Two years ago this December. So actually for something of this size and this capability, this project, here we are completing it and bringing it in less than two years yes. from flash to bang. And, and what, Including COVID. And we, yes, of course. The, the, what, new rooms here? I mean, this is where you'll have be in there watching what's going on. And yes. Sort of is it all brand new build? Uh, absolutely all brand new build. Wow. I'm a little bit distracted because there is, is it's coming. <laughs> uh, we, obviously, we need to show pictures of it because that's happening in the future. But right now, arriving right it's now. It's arriving. It's I'm arriving. excited. I know, this well, is our... I know, we'll oh, finally go. our thing. Um, so basically, absolutely, this is completely new. Uh, not only this room is new, but we had to do a restructuring of the whole department. We created a whole new cross-sectional suite, uh, which is patient orientated, which is technology orientated, and um, it was it's it it's been a massive, massive job. Wow. And um, I have to say that without the trust, this wouldn't have been happening. But also, the departments of social care did help us a lot. They were very supportive. The, the uplift in diagnostics and imaging that we can now do in the Isle of Man for all of us who live here is just exponential. Yes. Well, it's Definitely. great to have a good news story. And uh, for many, many years to come, people are going to be able to now get treated faster and get better results, presumably, because this, 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 this is the latest state of the art. It did. And not only what we did with this project is a lot of patients which would have had to go across for certain exams now will be able to do them on an island. So we're very proud of this and we're very well thankful, well very thankful to everybody that helped us and uh, it's exciting times.